Hi, I'm Miyazaki, the author of an anime that had won the Oscar, The Boy and the Heron. All right, and the Oscar goes to The Boy and the Heron. The Boy and the Heron took approximately around seven years to animate Fate. The production was started in 2016, and the film was released in 2023. Crazy, isn't it? You can just imagine how hard it is to make such masterpieces. But how in the world they make these types of things? So grab your straw hat to know how anime is made. You see, making an anime is not as easy as it looks. Most of you have probably know that making an anime series or a movie is both difficult and very time-consuming at the same time. If we see today, it takes around a whole year or more than a year to make in 12 episode anime. An example is Demon Slayer or Bleach, right? But it takes time because anime production is a difficult task that involve many complex things in it. But at the first, when the series and the studio has decided the main production, stuff including the producer, the director, and the episode director gather in a meeting to decide many things in the production. That plays big roles in it, like animation supervisor, character designer, in between animator, keyframe animator, art director, CG director, color selector, voice actor, sound director, SFX artist, and many more. Each positions are directed differently in the production. Each position stuff maybe have around with 50, 100, or 500 stuff, and it can be more depending on the project they are making because producing a high-quality anims like My Name, directed by Mikoto Shinkai, took around more than 500 workforce to complete. But mostly all of the anims production stage is divided into three stages pre-production, production, and post-production. The system in pre-production is simple. The producer, the director, original author, and story or script writer, all of them create a script for different, different episode that also decided in pre-production. And when the script is completed, the episode director and the series director makes the storyboard. Storyboards are critical because in anime production, storyboards are essential four visual guides that translate the script into detailed scene-by-scene -scene illustrations. They serve as a blueprint for timing, pacing, and camera angles, helping different departments communicate each other that makes it more difficult. But storyboards ensures that the director's vision is consistently conveyed, creating a script to life. After this, the character designer makes a detailed character design to be used as a reference by our animator in the production stage. Character designer works with art designer and episode director to over review the animation looks for the series characters, and the art designer developed the visual looks for the production by creating the detailed sketch of character, locations, objects, items, vehicles, and the overall perspective of the production. And at the end, the color designer makes the main color palette to be used by the ending department. Your favorite anims like Naru 2, One Piece, and Bleach was colored, handmaded by the past color designers. But now we have digital coloring techniques, specifically RGB colors code, that are consistent in the computer colors to fill the characters. And now the most thrilled and challenging period is production period. Production period also have different stages like production manager and assistant production manager. Both of their role is to know that everything is going well and well scheduled and in budget. Their main role is to coordinate with the production team and track the process and bring production materials from one to another team. After this, we have animators group who are one the most hardworking stuff in the studio because they make the detailed version of the storyboard, pictures, and the main design. And they are in charge of sketching the key frames, difficult moments, in the animation that shows the visuals motions.
And in this group, they have in-between animators that are in charge for completing the rest key frames for the sequence of animation. And they also trace and polish the lines of the key frames, then draw the lost key frames that are based on timing and the storyboard. But after key framing, who will check the key frames and mostly key framing are checked by animation supervisor who reviews and checks the key frames, the key animations, drawings and layouts. Animation supervisor are connected to chief animation supervisor and the chief animation supervisors works under the supervising director of animation and they all together charge in the quality control to review and complete the missing and lost keyframes in the production. But, as I tell in the starting, there are a lot of things in it, but after the supervising director group, all the things goes to CG director. They manage and control the process of CGI and visual looks with a 2D animation, with a help of CG director, digital artist, makes the 3D model and texture for a overall look. While creating 3D models, CG animators brings them to life and combine them into visuals using technology. Another critical group is finalization group that includes the background artists. Background artists creates the background scenes based on the key animators formats. Following from background artists, the art director oversee and make background art showing consistency across all visuals. Art Director is directly linked with Color Selector. The goal of Color Selector is to add colors at every visual based on the main palette set by Color Designer. And after all of this, the Supervising Director of Animation reviews and checks all the animation and visuals to make sure that it addresses the storyboard and character designs. After they accept it, we get to the last stage, the post-production stage. At post-production stage, the audio director and soundtrack composer team up to make engaging musical score and background music that may fit the series. Following from the soundtrack composer, the sound effects engineer goal is to produce all the sound effects that are important for the show, using various of ways such as exploiting real-world sounds or using digital technologies and sound libraries. On the other hand, voice actors gave life to a character by giving them their lines, matching their voice with characters' lips movement, giving them real emotions and make them live. And after voice actors, voice has been recorded. The sound mixer records their acting data in the voice actor filming room, including voice editing, merging voice acting, recording sound FX, and combining soundtracks as per the animation director and the audio director says. Afterwards, the sound effects artist makes a scene's appearance within the animation, such as explosion, fire, wind, lightning, and many more. After the sound is all done, is goes to the director of photography. The director of photography is responsible for how the anime visually looks. They decide on the camera angles, lighting, color schemes, and overall visuals style to ensure everything looks good and matches the story's mood. They work with other teams to make sure all the visual elements come together smoothly. And at the last, the anime gets to editor to an anime. The editor assembly the final version of the anime. They cut and arrange scenes, ensuring the story flows smoothly and at the right pace. The editor also works on sensing audio with the visuals and may collaborate with the director to refine the narrative, making sure the anime is engaging. Let's give a huge salute to all the anime stuff for their dedication and skills that gives us these types of masterpieces. Subscribe us to know more about how everything in the universe is...